I can't. Zuberi? Mama, I miss him, Ma. I miss him so much. I know. I miss him too. Maybe if you go to see him, pay your respects? M no, I, I can't. I, I can't do that yet. Zuberi. Mama, I can't. Your Baba, he... He left this for you. For the days after. When Baba found out he was sick, the look on his face, the anxiety, the fear, the anger, even a little confusion. But he had this sudden drive to write. He started this book. I think he wanted to make sure he had a good story to tell his son. What's it about? I don't know. But maybe it is for you to find out. Take your time, Zuberi. The story began at the end of a world I once knew. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding? Baba. Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Kalunga. Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, through wealth bestowed, I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail... Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy 
With a desperate plea? I am a shaman. My father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. Powerful mask. I use the mask to channel my power. It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flow. A harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. <laughs> Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side. And these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Sealed gate. No matter, there must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. Mask. The mask of the sun. Hmm. Not just the only time will take the sun. The Through your resonance as a shark, when the time is right, you throw ologies out. The 
key. Uh, I cannot reach it. Mask of the sun and the moon. Never hold one. Creotype. I do. It inspiration. It approach it so. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Finally. Now to the gate. Now, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba. Get to the Great Spirit. Mm, the girl has a little tin voice. Give her a moment. Let her finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move.
another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. Hmm, I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> That girl up by the bridge, she was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. <laughs>